Finish him. What up guys, your boy Jake Drimo, and guys, today is not going to be a doll video, but today is going to be a repaint. Now, I went to Target, and I noticed that there's a lot of Shang Chang merchandise from the Marvel Legends and Hasbro. And what I ran into was the dragon from the Shang Chang movie, and I think it's pretty cool. It has dope scope, but it made me think about something else. It made me think of Liu Kang, and if y'all know what I'm talking about... We can make this Liu Kang's Dragon Fatality. And that's the first thing that popped in my head when I saw this figure. So what I'm thinking about is repainting him green for Liu Kang. I think I could pull it off. Now one thing I'm kind of a little disappointed is that his mouth doesn't open. Because it would be pretty cool to have him like open his mouth to get his victims. But this will do. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so here it is. Here's the dragon. Pretty cool. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime it. Right? With this autom automotive 2-in-1 uh, prime. It's been pretty good, the one I've been using. So I'm going to prime this guy and then we can start getting into painting him. Alright guys, as you can see he's all primed up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with different types of greens. Spread a gradient of different types of greens. And then I'm going to go into it with, with some airbrushing and then do some dry brushing. That's kind of the direction I'm going with right now with this. So one of the things that I'm noticing is that he doesn't have any teeth. Even fangs hanging out to the side. So I'm going to just get some epoxy and make him some. Okay. So you get A and B. Touch it together. And then they start just start activating the compound to become... But it becomes eventually plastic, so... Alright, so... As you can see here, I gave him some more teeth. Made, modify his eyebrows a little bit to be a little bit more... Look like, you know, a little bit more with the expression like he's angry, so... Um, yeah. It's not that bad. Gonna keep on playing with it and then... Start painting it green. All right, guys. So as you can see here, it's the next day, and he's all dried, painted. Um, what I did was I first sprayed him with a dark green, so he go into the cracks. Then I hazed it with a lighter green. So now, I'm gonna go into it with the brush now. All right, so the next step, we're gonna be painting the inside and it's more on the yellowish tone. So I'm using this pale yellow. And I'm gonna be using a warm buff to kind of figure it out, so. So as you can see, I'm starting to add all the details ahead of time. Um, I would say do them first before you go into layering of like airbrushing or even uh, washing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding the details to the to the claws, to the palms, in certain areas, even underneath the chin. Just getting those details first before I start blending them all in together with the wash. All right, guys, next up, I'm going to start airbrushing. So, yeah, what I'm, what I'm going to do is that before I even get into black washing, 
get out the details out of the way. So one of the details I want to add to it though is um, some fades of some dark green and some browns. So now next up we're gonna be making some wash, some black wash, I'm gonna get some acrylic, we're gonna use some water. Okay. So more water than than paint. I'm gonna mix it. Alright, let's see. Okay. Cut that there and then gonna pull see that difference right there automatically so yeah this is the direction I'm gonna go with guys so it looks pretty good now the next part is the dry brushing and that's just to bring out the details back out um, did add some details before but now that I added some black wash it kind of toned down some of those things so now it's an opportunity to bring those uh, highlights back out so I'm gonna be bringing back some of the yellow on the on the on the belly area and then on the scales bring some bright greens and then we can start focusing on the eyes I got some yellow and got some green and mixed it to get a more of a bright green to create some highlights as you can see right here. Alright guys, I'm gonna work on the eyes now. For my reference, there's like a like a glow, it's like a lava, where the outside is orange and the inside is yellow with a speck of white. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. So I got some orange right here. Kind of do the same thing, like kind of like dry, dry brush it. So I'm gonna start from the middle. Okay. It's probably meant to start with some white then.
Da -da -da. Here you go guys, here is my Liu Kang Dragon Fatality that was repainted from the Hasbro toy line Shang-Chi and guys this this came out better than what I imagined this is just so much potential in this sculpt and I was able to repaint it and bring out the beauty of the sculpt now you know, I'm adding Liu Kang there just for the presentation wise, but let's focus on him. Man, this guy has such beautiful scales. Just the sculpt of it. And just the fact that I was able to keep him standing up. It was perfect. A perfect substitute for what I want to do with my Liu Kang. And guys, I think this is nothing hard. This is very simple to do. Just being able to add paint, do some dry brushing, and do some black washing to get this result. I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful, a beautiful scope that I had to take a, the opportunity to, to repaint it and add it to my collection. This part right here, I love it. So I ended up painting the eyes like they were glowing. And right here, as you can see, it's giving me that effect. I did add some custom teeth just to kind of give them a more of a meaner look. Um, unfortunately, this toy you're not able to open his mouth, so just kind of do what I can with trying to change his facial expressions by adding some epoxy to the sculpt. Mo mainly was the teeth and made his eyebrows look a little bit more meaner. And then over here, as you can see, I included. Uh, one of my custom Liu Kangs, I was able to remove his actual vest. This is the actual McFarlane um, Liu Kang toy, and he has a vest, and I was able to remove it and just bring it back to like that Mortal Kombat 2 type of uh, look and feel. But yeah, guys, there was this, this was nothing crazy. Just a simple repaint with the techniques that I've been teaching you guys just to accomplish this look and and i'm just amazed that this sculpt this hasbro toy that it looks like it's more for kids i was able to just repaint it and just bring out the details of this beautiful toy and now you guys can do this too and add it to your collection but yeah guys here it is my Liu kang dragon fatality and guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learned something new. And guys, hit that like button, write a comment, and if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.